Good morning, A-Town. It's Thursday, April 13th. I'm Xander. Y yo soy Gabriel. And here's what's happening in A-Town today. Y esto es lo que está pasando hoy en A-Town today. Math Honor Society applications are due tomorrow. See your current math teacher to get an application. Las solicitudes para la Sociedad de Honor de Matemáticas vencen mañana. Consulta a su maestro de matemáticas actual para obtener una solicitud. If you're a senior and you're thinking about attending PBCC in the fall, don't forget about the on-site PBCC registration event happening from April 18th to 20th. Representatives from PBCC will be here at AHS on those days to help you register and get started on picking out your courses for next year. Si es un estudiante de último año y está pensando en asistir a PBCC el, el en otoño, no se olvide el evento del registro de PBCC en el lugar que tendrá lugar del 18 al 20 de abril. Los representantes de PBCC estarán aquí en AHS esos días para ayudarlo a registrarse y comenzar a elegir sus cursos para el próximo año. See Ms. Ratliff in the Career Office or email her at clratliff at k12albemoral.org Consulta a la señorita Ratliff en la oficina de carreras o envíale un correo electrónico a clratliff arroba k12 albemoral.org Don't forget that tomorrow is the AHS Jobs and Opportunity Fair during both lunches on the Breezeway. Meet reps from local businesses that want to hire you for jobs and internships this summer. No olvide que mañana es la Feria de Empleos y Oportunidades de AHS durante ambos almuerzos en el Breezeway. Conozca representantes de negocios locales que quieren contratarlo para trabajos y pasantías este verano. One more reminder from the art department to visit the Northside Library or the Bridge Arts Initiative downtown between now and the end of April. There you'll see paintings and ceramics on display by our very own AHS artists. Un recordatorio más del Departamento de Arte para visitar la biblioteca de Northside o Bridge Arts Initiative en el centro entre ahora y finales de abril. Allí verá pinturas y cerámicas en exhibición de nuestros propios artistas de AHS. If you can't get there, Lenaira and Aisha checked out what Mr. Giacomo and the ceramics class offers AHS students. Check it out. Si no puede llegar ahí, Lenaira y Aisha revisaron lo que la señorita Di Giacomo y la clase de cerámica ofrecen a los estudiantes de AHS. Échale un vistazo. Almoral High School offers many art classes, including one being ceramics. Today, we will be interviewing Mr. Giacomo and one of her students. So, our first question is, how do you start your day in ceramics? I start my day off by checking out the classroom, uh, moving clay around. We recycle a lot of clay, um, making sure that the glazes are ready for the students and um, prepping the classroom. In the classroom itself, we just start off by reviewing or our assignment that we're working on or starting a new one. So our second question is, what are your favorite parts about doing ceramics? Wow, there's so many favorite parts because ceramics is such a challenge in terms of getting the way that we build it. Um, we can either build on the wheel or by hand, and both of them have, um, are so different and have such uh, a different feel to them. So I love throwing on the wheel personally, but I also like integrating um, hand building techniques into my personal work. And the students seem to gravitate, like half of them really love the wheel and half of them love hand building. So it's really inspirational to see what they do on both sides of it. And then once you've done all that hard work to make the piece, then you have to glaze it. And you're never quite sure how it'll turn out. So it, although we have test tiles and we do tests on it, um, things can vary in the kiln and it can come out kind of different than what you expect. And so I think planning things out and then just seeing what happens in the end is really exciting. Um, I really like, so I'm in ceramics for so I really like um, we get to choose our own projects. I really like deciding what to make and using the skills that I've learned uh, through the past three years and building on them to make um, new pieces. Why did you choose ceramics out of all the subjects here? Well, I have been lucky to teach, I think, all of the subjects except for digital imaging here. And ceramics has just been my passion. Um, when I was in college, I realized I took some classes in ceramics and realized that that's really what I wanted to do. But I moved from Texas to Virginia and didn't do any ceramics for a long time. And when I got back into it, I just felt like home again. 
What's the best project that you've witnessed over the years of teaching? Um, it was probably a project that was done by Angela Gleason's student. She was the former um, ceramics teacher, and the student made a chessboard and made these really crazy. Um, fantastical creatures as the chess pizza pieces and so that was really cool to see. Um, right now I am making a jar that has um, little hexagons all around it dispersed like kind of like a honeycomb and I'm gonna have some like bees on it as well and I'm gonna possibly for the top make the like handle either a bee or like a hexagon. What are the cons of being a ceramics teacher? Um, the recycling and moving around of clay, clay comes in 25 pound bags and we get about four tons of clay delivered a year and so although we use a lot of clay because we recycle it, it's a lot of clay is moved around and then unloading and loading the kilns as well as a lot of labor. What's the best thing about being here in Alamore High School? and their excitement in being in my class. The, I have um, all, you know, I get to teach all grade levels and then all different walks of life come in here doing and creating pieces that, um, and then they share their personal stories with me through their art and getting to see that is always very exciting. Anything else you want to talk about or anything you want to tell us here today? Anything? Sure, I mean, I would love to say if you haven't had an opportunity to take a ceramics class, you should definitely try it out. Um, when you go on with your life and become an adult, it costs a lot of money. And so having the experience to come in and work with your hands is just um, very liberating. A lot of students just really enjoy the contemplative um, side of creating with their hands and with clay. I'm Aisha, and this is A Town Today. In sports news, in noticias deportivas, girls soccer takes to the turf tonight when they host Charlottesville. This should be a great matchup, so come out and support your Patriots. The JV team kicks it off at 5:30, followed by varsity at 7 p.m. El fútbol femenino salta a la cancha esta noche cuando reciban a Charlottesville. Esto debería ser un gran enfrentamiento, así que sal y apoya a tus Patriots. El equipo JV comienza a las 5 y media, seguido por el equipo de varsity a las 7 p.m. Jumping across town to CHS, the boys' soccer team takes on the Black Knights, beginning with JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7. Saltando al otro lado de la ciudad hacia CHS, el equipo de fútbol masculino se enfrenta a los caballeros negros, comenzando con JV a las 7 y media y varsity a las 7. Girls' tennis is rebounding from a tough loss against Western when they host CHS tonight. Those matches get underway at 5.30. Girls tennis está recuperando de una dura derrota contra Western cuando reciben a CHS esta noche. Esos partidos comienzan a las, siete, a las cinco y media. Varsity Baseball and Softball will travel to CHS tonight to take on the Black Knights. Both of those games will get started at 6.30. The JV squads will be at home. Varsity Baseball and Softball viajarán a CHS esta noche para enfrentarse a los Black Knights. Ambos, juegan com am ambos juegos comienzan a las seis y media. Las escuadras JV estarán en casa. That's all for now. Have a great Thursday and we'll see you tomorrow on A-Town Today. Eso es todo por ahora. Que tengan un excelente jueves y nos vemos mañana en A-Town Today.